although women representation in parliament has increased significantly in all the East African community countries, with Rwanda at 64%, Tanzania at 36.8%, Burundi at 36.4%, and Uganda at 32%, Kenya still lags behind at 19.7%. This is according to the first ever East African Community Gender Barometer that has been launched in Kampala. The barometer points at what it termed does masculine political culture in Uganda and Kenya, where political parties and top government positions at national and local levels are still male-dominated. There is a kind of paradox that you have more women in positions of decision-making but they seem to be drifting far away from power. Dr. Miriam Atembe, an activist on women rights, blames this on intimidation and lack of political will that threatens women participation in politics. There is patronage system, there is harassment, all these things, in other words, the political space has ceased to be conducive to women's participation as per at time when it was so free and good for us to participate freely. It is Uganda where, in the region, where the certain positions, political positions have been ring fenced for women. It's Uganda that has legislated that on whatever appointments, whatever organization of government, okay, 30% should be women. And has been met actually. The report also points at high commercialization of elections in all the East African countries, mad by abuse and violence, putting women at a gross disadvantage compared to their male counterparts. They should not have constitutions where they present 40% female and so on, and yet when they present candidates, they are not called to account. There's money in it because the stakes are high. You see, that's how it works. Yes, but Uganda, we are trying to do our best to ensure that women, in spite of their of their less means economically, okay, in, in competitive politics, they get more and more means progressive. They get more educated. They get more money. They 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 do, they do this for themselves. Then tomorrow, the day later, you will find that whether you are a man or a woman, you will be competing at equal level. I take this opportunity to the East African Community Gender Barometer was launched by the Director for Gender and Community Affairs at the Minister of Gender, Labor and Social Development, Jenny Mpaji. Other areas highlighted in the report include legal and state obligations to protect human rights, gender-based violence, the media, education, health, agriculture and food security, land rights and trade. Because when you go to lobby government, you don't just say, okay, so... Women are starving in Iganga. You have to say so many women who are a percentage, this percentage of the population. So if we have this evidence-based information, it is much easier to persuade governments to take decision. So we want to reach that stage where governments are using this barometer to measure their own performance and then making transformative laws that are going to change uh, lives of women and girls. Bernard Yiga, UBC TV in Kampala.